Audio can add so much life to your videos, and have you ever wanted to create that cool echo or delay effect maybe on the last word that you say, something like this? Peace. 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 Well, it's not so hard to create here in DaVinci Resolve. I've got two different ways that you can do it. One method that I prefer, which I'm gonna show you first, but I'm gonna show you another way because sometimes you just need options, right? And DaVinci Resolve gives us tons of ways to do almost everything almost everything you can do in more than one way, right? So let's jump into Resolve and I'm gonna show you how to end your audio with a little echo or delay. Let's go. let's go. So jumping into DaVinci Resolve here, I've got some samples that we're gonna work with here to create that cool delay effect. So here is the first example and we're gonna add a delay effect just like you saw in the intro there to the last word that I say and let it ring out and echo out over time. So, so here's a clip, check it out. Another option for you to do is end your dialogue with a little echo, kind of like this. Peace. Okay, so I want that word peace to echo out and ring out. Now we could do it here in the edit tab, but being that I'm an audio guy and I love me some Fairlight, let's jump into Fairlight real quick. I'll show you at the very end how you can do it right here in the edit tab. Concepts are gonna be the same, but let's jump into Fairlight right now, the musical notes at the bottom of the screen here. So taking a look at our first example here, the way that I prefer to add this delay effect is by using a track that's gonna have the effect on it. Now we can do it on a clip and that's the second method that I'll show you, but there's some reasons why I don't like that method as much. So I'll show you that in a little bit and I'll tell you why uh, I prefer this first method. So what we're gonna need to do is first create a new audio track. So in Resolve here, I'm just gonna right click on my track, add a track, I'm gonna add a stereo track because that's what I've already got here. So now I've got a second track and on this track, I'm just gonna call this one echo or delay. Now what I need to do is apply the echo or delay onto this track. So if you go into your mixer, you can open your mixer right here. We wanna come down to our effects section right here on the track that we're on, which is our delay track right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the little plus. I'm gonna come down to delay, fair light effects. And in this case, I'm just gonna pick the echo. You can use whichever one you want, or if you have third-party plugins, you can even use some of those. So now in my effect right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a preset, the swirling close, and we're just gonna use that as our default now. Obviously, you can go and edit it to make it sound however you'd like. This is just a good starting point here. Now, what I need to do is put the part that I want to echo out or ring out onto that delay track. Looking at my first clip here, I'm just gonna put my playhead right here, and I just wanna make a cut. So keyboard shortcut there for me is S, to make a cut. And I'm just gonna copy this down into another track. So by holding your option key on a Mac or your alt key on a PC, click, hold and drag, it's straight down into the track below, our delay track. Now you might be thinking, why do I have it in two places? And the reason why you might wanna do that is because sometimes it sounds a little weird if you don't have that original audio in there. So for example, if I uh, come in my timeline view options, turn on my gain line so I can adjust my volume, I'm just gonna, mute this part of the clip. Now let's listen to our clip. This part is gonna have the delay on it at the ending, just like we want, but let's see how it sounds and see if it's what we want to achieve for this effect. Another option for you to do is end your dialogue with a little echo, kind of like this. Peace. 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 Okay, that's not too bad, right? Sometimes you're gonna wanna keep some of the original audio in there, right? Almost like blending them together a little bit just to make sure that you know we hear it exactly how we wanna hear it. But in this case, it does work out pretty good that we can mute that original clip and just have our clip in the delay track. Now, the reason that I like using this method is because if I set up the track once and maybe I wanna do this multiple times in a video, all I have to do is drop another clip, looking in Resolve here, down into my delay track. For example, check out this next clip here. I wanna create a delay on the end of this too. So here's the original clip. Bonus tips for anybody who can tell me where that's from and uh, one of my favorite movies. So let's say I want those last few notes to echo and delay out, right? I want it to ring out because it's a nicer ending, right? I don't wanna just hard stop. So I'm gonna find where that part is. So right about there, I'm gonna make a cut, select my clips. I'm gonna copy them down into the track below by using Option or Alt and then just clicking and dragging it down. And if I have my playhead right where I make the cut, and I have my magnet tool on right here, it'll drop straight down for you. It, it should stick or magnetize, I guess you could call it magnetize, right to the playhead there. So now let's just play through it and see how it sounds if we keep, or if we mute the original clip there and see what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
So now in this case, I think it sounds a little weird, right? When that delay starts, because it almost takes a second to kick in, right? And with the other video with me and my voice, it didn't matter as much because I had space in between where that delay was going to start and my last sentence or my last word, right? So in this case, let's just listen to it again. And then I'm going to actually bring the volume of the original clip back up. So let's bring this back. I'm going to bring in the original. Let's just bring it back to zero dB. So the default uh, that it came in at. And let's hear how that sounds now. So now it almost sounds a little too loud, right? So I could come back to the original clip, drop it down just a little bit, maybe 5 dB there. Let's play through it and see how that sounds. It's still a little, little strong there, right? So maybe I want to bring it back a little more. And you just kind of play with it and try and balance it out so that it gets the sound and the effect that you want. And it's just a nicer way to kind of end some clips once in a while. I wouldn't recommend that you do it all the time, but once in a while we can end some clips here with a little delay or echo. It just kind of adds a cool effect that's a little bit different here. Maybe it helps tell your story a little bit using your audio. And just looking back and resolve here, sometimes we may actually want to lower the volume of the clip that's doing the delay. So let's say we drop this back by 8 dB. We put our original part of the clip back to you know, the regular zero dB where it came in at. And here's what that sounds like. And that works out pretty good. So it's going to be dependent on your clip as far as how you balance these two things together. But I think that it works out really well to do it this way on a track level versus applying the effect on a clip level. Now, before I show you how to do it on a clip, let me just show you how you can quickly do this in the edit tab so you don't even have to jump into Fairlight. So jumping back into the edit tab right here, if I wanted to create this effect, let's just say I'm going to delete this track right here because I don't want it anymore. I say delete track. And let's say I wanted to do all of this right in the edit tab. I can totally do it. I'm going to come to my audio track, right click, add a new track, stereo. And now I can add the effect on a track level right here in the edit tab as well by going to effects at the top. I'm going to come on down to audio effects and right here I've got my echo. So if I come click and drag my echo and drop it right in this section right here, it's going to apply it on the entire track versus if I just go and drop it on a clip, it's only going to apply it on that one clip. So in the example that I just showed you, we'd want to apply it on a track. So I would drag and drop it right here. Boom. Brings up our effect window. I can just pick the swirling close again. And I've already made a cut on my audio clip here, so I can just copy it down, put the volume back to where it was, or, or 0 dB right here, no, no change, or close enough. And then here we go. Go. Kind of like this. Peace. 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 And there you go. You can do it right here in the edit tab. I just like to jump into Fairlight because I'm an audio guy, and Fairlight is awesome. So now let's talk about how can you apply it to a clip itself. So let me just go ahead and get rid of what we've already created here. I'm going to delete this track again, get rid of that. I'm going to delete our cuts that we made and I'll just pull these clips back out. So now we're back to our original clips here. Now we could just come and grab our audio effect right here in either the edit tab or in Fairlight, drag it down and drop it onto the clip that I want to apply the echo to. But when we do that, if I just select our same preset there, the swirling close, when I do that, now the entire clip is going to have echo or delay on it. And you're going to notice something else too. Let me play through it for you here and listen and see if you can tell what I'm about to say or notice what I'm about to say. Think about it. Another option for you is so what did you notice there? Obviously, it was on everything in the entire clip. It was way too much. It was too echoey. And I only want it on the last portion there. Now, you could play with it a little bit and do some other fancy things that I'm not going to talk about in this video. But let's say you're like, oh, well, just make a cut where you did before and throw it on the end of the clip. And I can totally do that. So if I make a cut right here, I'm going to and then I'm going to just select the first part of that clip, open my inspector, and I'm actually going to delete the uh, audio effect off of there. So now I only have the audio effect on the second portion of my clip here. But if I play through it, listen what happens now. Another option for you to do is end your dialogue with a little echo, kind of like this. Peace, peace, peace. Okay, what did you notice there? When we apply an audio effect like a delay or an echo onto a specific clip, just like this, that echo or delay stops, hard stop, right at the end of our clip. And we don't want that. We want it to echo out and delay out so it gives that cool kind of vibe and sound and feeling, right? But look, if we play through it, peace, peace, peace. 
it stops as soon as the clip stops. So there are some ways to work around this. You could extend this clip if you had more room in the clip, because if there's extra dead space after the word you want to echo or delay, then it will continue to ring out until the end of the clip. Now, in this case, my clip is as long as it could go. Right? I didn't, I don't have any more clip there. So you could get creative and, you know, make it a little bit longer. For example, if I, uh, you know, unlinked my layers here and maybe I grabbed this first guy, copied it over and then, you know, mute the volume of this one. And then once I've dropped the volume on here, I actually have to come to this original clip and delete the delay off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And now I'm going to select these two clips, right click, new compound clip. I'm going to say OK. And now we have a compound clip that's a little bit longer. There's dead space after where I want that echo or delay to happen. So now I can come back, drop my echo or delay on just this clip. I'm going to go select my preset. And if I play through it now, it should echo out for us. Peace. 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 OK, so that does work. And if you make your clip long enough, you can have that echo and delay ring out. But I think that that's a little more work than you need to do, especially if you're going to use it a few times in your video. I like to put it on a track level. I think it's less work. All you have to do is make the track and drop the effect on it instead of creating a longer clip. And most of the time, if there's things I want to echo or delay out, especially when I'm talking, I don't have a whole lot of dead space after the clip. So I'd have to make a, a compound clip like this. So I much prefer to create these effects on a track level because I think it's just easier. It's a little quicker. And then you can reuse it multiple times in the video if you want to, to create that delay or echo effect. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. There's a little delay, a little echo on your effects. Why? Because it's kind of cool. Can add something a little bit different to your videos and help set you apart from other people. All right, guys, I am done here. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.